hello and good day hope that this video is finding you good health and good spirits i'm having a pretty good day and it has been made better by my neighbors in the lovely state of maine because i was tuning in the other night to msnbc listening to the rachel maddow show love her love her anyways the good dr maddow had a thing on from Bangor, Maine. It was a opinion piece, um, editorial, if you will, in the Bangor Daily News. And it was uh, submitted by three gentlemen who had been chairman of the Maine Republican Party. And they have come out and they have endorsed Kamala Harris. And just the previous in that interview, there was an interview that Rachel Maddow did with Liz Cheney, which is very important in my opinion, because Liz Cheney is kind of saying that perhaps the GOP party under Donald Trump has gone too far and that the party cannot resurrect itself, that it has turned off too much of its base. The base being, you know, what we call normie Republicans. People who are conservatives, real conservatives, not this friggin' foolishness that we've had coming out of mega. We're talking about people who believe in responsible government, fiscal responsibility, national security, rule of law, that kind of stuff. Those kind of Republicans, right? As opposed to the wackadoodle faction who is, you know, too worried about what their neighbors might be doing or might not be doing and just proclamating lie after lie after lie. Division, hatred, you know, can we pick on the immigrants? <laughs> can we turn one American against the other? Can we kick down as much as possible? That kind where cruelty is the point. Right. That is not the GOP of my youth. It is not the GOP, it's not the conservative movement period that I grew up with, right? Whether it was conservatives in Canada, conservatives in the UK. Now, as anybody who's watched this channel knows, I'm a liberal, definitely. Left of, left of center, some days lefter than others, but, you know, you can still have a meaningful and respectful conversation between people when it is based on facts and none of this Kelly and Conway alternate facts bullshit, right? It is time for everybody to recognize reality. So I've got the two stories linked in the um, show notes below. If you want to go take a look at them for yourself, trying to do that so that people have an opportunity to seek, you know, their own information and kind of double check what I'm coming up with. <laughs> Flew out the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is, of course, self-imposed restrictions. And I think that the GOP is going to lose its capacity or really that's my question for the cut is the GOP going to be able to come back to being a normal conservative party or are they lost are they lost in the woods and never to be seen again and will there have to be a new party that takes up and oh, cannot happen fast enough in my opinion because even though you know I'm slightly loony lefty we need the conservative thought Right? Because it's that pushback. It's that dialogue where we come up with good ideas and we kind of check the excesses on e either party and without it. And when you can just like, you know, write off an entire political party because they haven't said anything sensible in eight years, which is what we've got right now with the GOP. Yeah, we need them. We need them. We need them back and I want them back and I want them back soon. So this is my question for the cards. Is the GOP going to be able to recover, survive the tragedy that is Donald Trump, or is it too late? She's spinning down the drain, 
and we'll see a new conservative party arise from the ashes that's the question for the cards today now the deck that i am using haven't got it up in is the quilling tarot i've used it before and it is by shimatel this is a ukrainian no this is a turkish company i can't remember my foreign decks anymore it is a beautiful beautiful deck but their boxes all are the same they only have one box for the entire line anyways that is also in the show notes for those of you who happen to be collectors and uh, like to pay attention to to what decks you see so you can decide whether or not you're going to go spend money and of course that's my my biggest problem i'm always willing to drop the cash on the tarot decks we won't even go into how many i picked up in the last like month another video another video i'm telling you or we'll be here all night just a reminder if you like these kind of videos by all means give me the like that lets me know i'm on the right track if you're not a member of this community we'd love to have you join us just hit that subscribe button hit that little ringy dingy bell that lets you know when i've dropped another video which generally speaking roughly every second day for the next six weeks because believe me once this election is over the posting frequency is going to go down while I try to recover my mind. And finally, comment section. Love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. So, here we have our standard Celtic cross. And the first one out of the bin, we have the signifier. And it is the eight of wands. Incoming speed, movement, rapid change, and we are going to see some movement on this whole idea that perhaps the GOP has seen better days. Let's put it that way. And it is crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles brings us very grounded, practical energy. Now, she's generous by nature. She's a good manager of prosperity very nurturing kind of has and wants to look after people has good ideas and that sort of stuff now i don't look at the queens and kings or the court cards as being particularly gendered the way i've interpret the queen is that this is the inward looking energy so the gop and we're seeing it of more and more like not just you know casual kind of republicans i'm talking the brand name republicans the liz cheney and the adam kinzigers and you know defense former defense secretaries and blah 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 just kind of like the who's who of normie republicans who are coming out and saying that they are going to endorse kamala harris it is happening it is happening but this is still going to be an internal dialogue for a while <clears throat> now in the past we have the ten of cups and those of you who are watchers of this channel know the ten of cups for me is the voters card that i mean it's the happy family card when you look at the regular tarot but looking at political tarot it really is the body politic and when it's up upright like it is right now this is a card that's about harmony within the family now right now we're seeing i mean there was always a rule in the republican party it was kind of the 11th commandment of being a republican is you never spoke ill of another republican right that has gone by the wayside that is definitely in the past so the happy ten of cups card is in the past for the GOP and in the future not looking good boys not looking good five of cups this is a card about hopelessness and disappointment and grief and loss and pessimism answer the question is the GOP going to be able to recover from this misfortunate flirtation with fascism I don't think so it's not looking that way but shall we continue shall we continue my friends 
and in the sky of the reading. Now, this is kind of the overarching energy. This is kind of like where we're headed for, what we're looking for. And we have the hanged man in a reverse position. Hanged man, this is a card about stagnation. So don't expect this to happen for 28. It's going to be further down the road. But this conversation is definitely going to be taking place. And there's delays. And we get into that whole fear of letting go. And very much, the hanged man was reversed very much about that victim mentality. That card that fell out earlier, the Eight of Swords, once again, victim mentality. So we have this theme, and it is this grievance politics. Oh, poor, poor me. I am so oppressed. I live in the richest nation in the world, and I have enjoyed peace and security pretty much all of my life and I am hard done by <laughs> just what the Republican Party has turned into which is just you know terrible instead of celebrating the the wonder and the accomplishment that America is the Republican Party is always running it down and that again is that victim mentality written large brought to you courtesy of Donald J Trump in the foundation, this is the energy that's holding up the reading. This is kind of the roots of it all. Ace of Pentacles. This is nice to see because we're seeing a shift here. Because the Ace of Pentacles, like all Pentacles, it's the seed of something. It's the seed of prosperity. It's about abundance and it's about manifestation. There is so much that the GOP can still contribute to America. But perhaps we need to start stop referring to them as the GOP. It's the conservatives have a much to contribute to America, but as long as they're caught into this grievance factory, their contributions are not going to be very much. Message from Spirit. The fool. This is a card about new beginnings and potential and optimism and joy and freedom there's that there is something for the conservatives and they are going to be able to bring it back into american life but i don't see it happening within the confines of the gop unless they clean up because as they keep running these horrible horrible candidates they have like christine o'donnell Mehmet Oz, like noted grifter, Mark Robinson. And, you know, the problem is, I mean, we can't blame the party apparatus for a phenomenon like Mark Robinson. Mark Robinson was elected by GOP voters. They knew what he was, they saw what he was, and they voted for him anyways. And that is that mega base, right? They're just absolutely poisonous and they have poisoned the well of conservative thought in America. Now in the environment, this is the buzz that's kind of around things and we have the magician. The magician's in a reverse position. There is going to be some shenanigans going on. This is a card about trickery and manipulation and indecision. So like I said, don't expect I don't expect anyways. The GOP, or if there's a new party that's going to come out of this, we're going to see a new conservative movement. By, you know, normal rational thinking people coming up, it won't be soon. This is going to be delayed. We're not going to see it, I don't think, for 28. Perhaps in 32. 28, if they're getting serious about it, there's going to be some start, some movement. And getting people like at school boards, state legislatures, Congress, that sort of stuff. That has to be built before you ever shoot for the presidency. Somebody that sh should learn that is Jill Stein. Because, well, I still think she's just a grift. But that's a, that's a card for another day. In the Hopes and Fears Department. Seven of Cups. Card of illusion and delusion. This is living in a fantasy world. This is when you cling to the alternative facts. 
It says you have options and you have choices, but you decide to go with the nonsense because it is more comfortable and it is more helpful, right? Is that something that the conservative movement has to be very wary of? Absolutely. There is going to have to be some people that really buckle down and decide that they are going to walk away from grievance politics and get back on the program of providing good governance to the American people. And I think America is hungry for it. I think, I mean, I, I have repent friends who are Republicans and like, this mega thing just ain't working for him. Ain't working for him. Final outcome. We have the star in a reversed con uh, reversed position. I'll get it out eventually. Star in a reversed position. This is a car about card about despair, loss of hope, and losing your faith in something. And I think we've seen, you know, a lot of lifelong Republicans, people who would have never voted for Democrat anything, they're coming out and they're endorsing the Democratic ticket in this election. And like I said, this is not just going to, you know, guide the grocery store. These are your name brand Republicans. These are spokesmen for the party. Your Adam Kinzinger, your Liz Cheney's, your people like that. Bill Cohen. Right, he, former Secretary of Defense. I mean, those kind of people that are coming out, right? And last card we have is the Shadow. We have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, and this is a card about clarity and epiphany, and it it is the seed of the truth that is breaking through, that is going to push away all this detris and chief, right? New ideas have an opportunity to come forward. And, you know, good-hearted conservative thinkers in the United States are going to turn their back on the lies and the misinformation, the disinformation, and the win at all costs and to hell with the country. The whole party before country ideology there's too many Republicans that just want to see that in the rear view mirror and going over the hill. So, what is my overall take on this reading? Overall, I think the GOP is, you know, in the dying of the light as it is currently. Thinking. I mean, I think that Donald Trump and not just him, but that cadre around him, that, that, that cesspool of grifters and power-hungry fascists, authoritarian kind of whole bent. Yeah, I think this is their last kick of the cap. I really do. It is going to take the conservative movement in the United States some time to rebuild. They are going to have to start at the ground level, but I think you will see it happening. Like I said, I'm going to hold my breath for 28, but I'm, you know, cross my fingers, kind of hoping that we're going to see some kind of action before 2032. And once again, if you like this kind of reading, give me the like there. Subscribe if you would. And the comment section, whatever you want to talk about, anything tarot, or if you have races you will want me to take a look at, by all means, throw it in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Uh, on that note, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.